case if you are new to the series, welcome. My name is Reinder Jochems and I'm from the Netherlands and I ride with a bicycle over the whole of Europe. And right now I'm in the east side of Europe and a lot of countries are really close to each other. So maybe I'm gonna set a new personal record on crossing the most amount of borders within two weeks. We're gonna find out. First, I gotta clean up my camp. <laughs> But before I go, I want to let you know that I'm in Greece right now. So that's my first flag in the pocket. I think the time has come that I'm gonna wear some sleeves again. man don't be afraid of free the nipple stay with us <laughs> So just a moment ago you saw me cycling through the forest and here comes a fun story. All of a sudden out of the middle of nowhere I entered the military base and <laughs> they didn't allow me to pass the border over there because duh, it was a military base. All of a sudden they sent me on the highway so I had to cycle there for five minutes but guess what I made it across the border. Right now I'm in Bulgaria country number two border number one. for Bulgaria. I'm gonna cross another border to North Macedonia. So it's gonna be my third country, second border. <sighs> On the same day. <laughs>
So some cities really don't want to spend a lot of money on whatever arch architecture, buildings, surrounding areas, whatever. But I'm in Skopje right now and they do want to invest money <laughs> into looking pretty. Look at this. It's all cast bronze. It's only to protect pedestrians. Like, wow. My compliments to the city of Skopje and I hope it's gonna be a lesson for a lot of cities that are trying to evolve. Please bring some back some charm. Ugh. Did you knew that bicycles were capable of devouring shoes? <laughs> well, I know now. That's why I got some pretty new ones. An expense that I didn't thought I had to do. Well, I think it's art. Skopje was so beautiful, but then 10 kilometers out of the city boundaries. It's not doing that. Another border. Uh, four fun on this list. This is Kosovo. Here we go. Guess what? There's another border! May I present to you, Albania! Nice boulder! So here's a fun story, I entered Albania on the highway and had to stay on the highway for like 20 kilometers until I reached the city there I wanted to go to. But I didn't like it to cycle on the highway and there was no side road until like 3 kilometers ago that I could pick and the side road would go eventually again on the highway, at least I stayed on the side road for a while. Well. <laughs> Now I'm on the side road, in the rain, and I'm at the highway, but I have to cycle against the traffic. 
Hell fucking no, no. I have to walk back. Fuck you, Google! I was so close to that city. If I just stayed on the highway, I would stay dry. Hey, nice boulder. Oh well, at least it's beautiful. <laughs> Stray cats and stray dogs, but stray cows. Hello, women. I know I'm scary. something you don't see in the Netherlands and if you see this in the Netherlands the whole country is in panic roads are getting closed police show up Hello. there's another border this is also going to be the first time I'm going to walk to the border it's kind of a cheat because I'm going to enter Kosovo again. It's the shortest route to capture as many flags as possible. No check. Hey. Celebrated too early. Look what we have over there. Uh, Kosovo. Have you ever wondered what kind of view you would have when you're a kilometer and a half higher than the surrounding area? Well, this is the view you get. And I'm so high up that even the trees find it difficult to grow over here. Oh well, well, at least still got a bit to go. Just for an example. God damn it. So, this is the second time that I'm going to walk over a new border. <sighs> Had to climb up like 1400 meters straight up just to get here. It's a lovely challenge. Especially when there is only mountains <laughs> near every fucking border. Here we go. May I present to you country number I don't know anymore, but this is Montenegro. Woo! Yeah, rock on! They always stay funny. So apparently I was in no man's land. The moment I went over the border just a moment ago, it was like two hours ago, <laughs> a lot of walking. I left Kosovo and here is the border of Montenegro. I have no idea what's going on, but over there, 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 Montenegro. <laughs> I'm starting to love you guys. No, don't walk this way. Thank you. Hello.
Deze was het voor Montenegro. Over daar is Servië. Woe! Another flag! Chances. Got a sad story though. I uh, figured out that I lost my raincoat. Guess what's going to happen today? It's gonna rain again. Uh, but as long as it's dry, got a nice view. Hey! <laughs> At least I still got my pants. Hey, <laughs> it's something. Right, there's another border over there. Right over there is Vietnam. <laughs> Joking, it's Croatia. Croatia, Croatia. Croatia, border. There I am, Croatia. I think the sunflowers are tired. They're sleeping. <laughs>
look what we have here. Hungary. Another border. Apparently, no border control. I'm not gonna stop. Fuck you. So before I'm going to wrap up this video, I want to tell something about this journey because two weeks ago I did not have any idea how many countries I'm gonna visit in two weeks time. So the moment when I was in Skopje I realized I, if I pushed myself really hard I could do 10 countries easily. And Skopje was 10 days ago so since that moment I did not have a decent break. Just a matter of fact. For the last three days I had to cycle 150 kilometers every day just to get here on time before I had to upload the video. But if you had the calculations right, I only captured nine flags. <laughs> and it's a stupid thing. In Serbia I was cycling for two days along a river and on the, on the other side of the river there was Bosnia. Really, I was keeping my eye on the border over there but for some stupid reason I did not took my chances to go over the WA to capture that flag. Physically and mentally, I am capable of doing 10 countries in two weeks, but intellectual, <laughs> I'm running a bit short on that one. But, okay, here's the catch. Google is backstabbing me every fucking video. He's leading me to, to roads that does not exist and it's a waste of energy. But I'm um, also on um, Polar Steps, and Polar Steps is also glitching. Polar Steps is an app that keeps track on all the distance you, you've uh, traveled. You can upload pictures and videos so everybody can see all your small adventures. But what Polar Step also does is that it keeps track on all the countries you visit, including all the flags you captured. And for some reason, Polar Steps glitched myself over the border and I captured the flag of Bosnia. I just want to have 10 flags in two weeks, that's all. I think it counts. And if you don't agree, leave a like. <laughs> Ik ben Heine Jochems, dit was Wijsneus. En graag tot de volgende keer. Hmm.